tell we have found the next game or the first game i'm going to undeafen from my discord and greet my co-commentator hello how are you doing today man hello hey the moment i started was all of a sudden you sounded way louder <laughs> my bad my that bad scared, that scared me <laughs> What's up? How you doing? How you doing? I hear you echoing, which is odd. I think there's something wrong with my headphones. Oh, I said, how you doing twice? Yeah. I mean, I also hear myself. I also hear myself echoing. I'm oh, okay. Fine. I hope it's not picking up on. Oh, I know why I don't have a streaming unit. That explains a lot. Why are you muted? Uh, am I muted? Am I muted? I don't know why I'm muted. I'll be honest. That was weird. Anyways, back to this. Apparently, Runaboom is in a tier, and all of a sudden, I'm much more interested in Are You? Which is gonna be great. Feel. So, Gen 8 is in this. Alright. That's good to know. So, what is, what is Are You? I don't know much about this tier. I'm just gonna assume it's similar to last gen. Oh wait, you're not too familiar with Showdown. It's basically there's commands that aren't you used enough to be in OU, so those mons are in UU. And then there's commands that aren't used enough in UU to be UU, so they're in RU. Gotcha. Honestly, once Rotoboom gets a signature ability, I could see it being like Oh, UUBL, which is like mods that are banned from UU. Just because Grassy Surge is insane. Gotcha. How familiar, you're, familiar are you with Pokemon? How familiar? I mean, I've played the games casually, very casually. Um, what about competitive Pokemon? I've played, I think I've played, it wasn't really, I would, it would call it competitive, but I played, I, I tried to play competitively. Uh, I tried. I tried to play competitively in a uh, like when I, my freshman year of high school, which was like, oh shit, that was like seven years ago. Holy cow, I'm a freaking boomer. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I don't like the showdown formats not very much. I'm more of a draft league guy myself. Draft league. Um, it's basically where you draft a team of mons and you have to build for each team every week. Which means you're going to be using a lot of unusual mons and sets, which I, I like a lot. Well, that sounds that that sounds like more in my favor, like more interesting to me. I, I like I like draft formats and a lot of things. The problem is since you have to build a new team every week, it's very time consuming, which is why I don't play them as much as I used to. Gotcha. A and G, as you might be aware, does have its own draft league set up that. This is the first season that they're having, but that's probably that's another time. It's pretty cool. I should probably pay a bit more attention to this game. Also, if you hear any noises, that's my really loud chair. Oh, you got one too? Nice. Yeah, mine's like an old military chair, so it's like super sturdy and surprisingly comfortable. The problem is it is really noisy because you're basically just clanking metal. Now, mine's just... Mine's just two and a half years old. So if I had to guess, based <laughs> off my time using Runaboom and OU, because I'm like the only person who's tried using lower tier mods in OU for some reason, I would assume this Runaboom is just Scarf. This, look, this looks exactly like a Scarf set I ran in OU. I'm assuming it might... I don't know the meta, but Judge, just going off Polgar's team, I would assume Fighting Resist are common, so we might not have Super Power and have like Earthquake instead, or maybe Stone Edge for Charizard. I think it gets Stone Edge or Rock Slide or something. And from what I've heard, Gigalith is basically the king of the tier. Do you know about goods, the Death Buff Sandstorm Grants? Uh, no. Pokemon's, if a Pokemon is Rock type, its special defense is boosted by 50% in sand. You said if you said you said if a wait say that again you said if something if a rock type is in sand it's it's boost it's, it's attack is boosted by sand or 
it's special defense. Special defense is boosted by Saint. Okay. Which is really big for mods like Gigalith as well as Tyranitar. Yeah, because they, they, they have really high physical defense but low special defense, right? Yeah, and mods like Titar and Gigalith actually have pretty good bulk anyways. Which is like really good. I actually made a Gen 4 draft league because I thought that'd be fun and Tyranitar got banned from that. <laughs> For many reasons, but it being really bulky in sand is one of the many reasons. This is where I'm on the field. I don't know what the special attack is, but I know it has really high special attack, and freeze dry is an ice move that hits water types. So, Genetician could take a heavy hit here. Oh, I just realized something kind of cancerous about Pokegar's team. He has two mods with Strike Sap. Do you know what that does? No. It lowers the opponent's attack and heals the user by however much attack they had. Okay. Like, you can play around it and prep around it and whatever, but so it's not that bad, but it is really annoying. Usually the mods that get it aren't very good, but in a tier like this, mods like Jellicent and Vile, Vile Plume would be very good. Unfortunately, he kind of revealed the Nasty Claw a bit too early, I think, just because he has, like, three mods that can... Pokegar has three mods that can just outspeed and just kill it. Mm-hmm. But, oh. So, someone in chat just asked, what's wrong? Uh, I read your rules. What's wrong with Toxitricity? I don't know what... I honestly don't know what the rules are. <laughs> All right. Um, I just joined this because I could. Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not, a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a Smash streamer. I'm not a Pokemon streamer. I'm just here filling in a spot. So I don't know too I'm much about Pokemon po myself. I'm not a Pokemon streamer, and I'm not a Showdown player. I just like Pokemon. <laughs> and I've played way too much of it. Let me see if I can find the rules on the tournament page. Like, is, is it actually, is Toxicity banned? Is that what the issue is? Uh, I don't know. Why did my video editor just open on its own? Let's take a look. Gen 8 Gallery U, or are you? Um. Yeah, let me just look on Showdown. RUBL is what we're looking for, and there's no mods currently banned from RU. So unless this is something AG did on zone. I don't think so. I'm looking through the rules right now. It doesn't seem like toxicity is banned alone. Yeah, and it, I don't think it's banned on A and G because Knight is maybe, completely maybe, unaware. Maybe maybe heard you say a toxic team and thought you said to intoxicity instead of toxic team. That might have no, been what I it just, was. I just said when, the, yeah, I just said Jellison and Vile Bloom were kind of I could see being kind of toxic in RU. Hey G, welcome. Welcome to the stream, brother. Thank you for the shout out too. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, well, Rillaboom is taking a uh, an early lead, I, or, or Frito is taking, taking an early lead in the game. I looked away for two minutes to look up the RU moveset to see what that question meant, and two of the most important mods of Pokegar's team are dead. <laughs> what well, happened? Well, he has Stealth Rock out, so that just like fucks Charizard up, right? Like Charizard just kind of dies to Stealth Rock. Um, yeah. Like unless takes it out half its health. Unless it has Gaboots. Let me scroll up and check. Oh. And see that. It, I think it had Gaboots because it seemed unaffected. Did he, when did he set up the Stealth Rocks? Sent out Charizard. I didn't, it didn't say anything. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming okay, that he... he set up Stealth Rocks pretty early, and the Charizard was... I think he had Heavy Metal Boots, which yep. protects you from hazards. Right. Because the Charizard didn't seem to take any damage. Alright, well, it's down to three Pokemon now for Pokegar's side. Frito. Really kind of commanded yeah, this lead. At this point, I don't think Frito has anything to take on the Sigilo. Especially mean, since Pokegar? I'm assuming it's Life Orb Magic Guard, so he has a Life Orb boost but doesn't take the recoil. Ooh, the Ice Beam! Knocking out the rest of the health. Sigilyph is down. Yeah. Uh, 
we'll probably see what it's with water goes. We'll probably see like Mr. Rhyme. If he has speed investment, which I doubt, Gajelicent could kill Mr. Rhyme here. Otherwise, Mr. Rhyme kind of gets a kill. I'm assuming he can use Giromatis as a Gallade switching. I don't know what Gallades run in this tier. Maybe it's banned. Who knows? Gallade only losing 6% from the Stealth Rocks. It's not bad at all. Yeah. I like I like how you can just take out like 80% of like Charizard, like Volcarona's health with rocks and three layers of spikes. Y'all can't see the chat in game, but Lenny just said, Jack, I want you to hear I want to hear you yell earthquake when it inevitably gets used in a tournament on stream. And then it happened right when he said that, and I didn't yell it. To be fair, it was kind of unex he had to react quick. It's 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 out of place now. It's out of place yet. Oh, I can't I can't do it now, yet, Lenny. Ooh, this is not a good situation for Frito because this is just an easy opportunity for Valbloom to get up with help with Strength Sap if he has it, but I don't think he does. He might just have Leech Seed as his recovery move. Kawhi's Glasses is interesting because that boosts special attack by 10%, but I don't think it's necessary, per se. Ooh! Yep. So Wish works when it, even through Pokemon Swap. Yes, which is the entire reason why it's so good, especially on Mon like Aromatis that has uh, like 101 base HP. Oh, especially when you get poison too. Cause is it wait? Is it poison or toxic? Where, like where the damage increases every turn? Just judging by scrolling over the Simian, it just seems to be regular poison, which does twice as much damage as to as turn one toxic. Keep in mind. So well sometimes reg sometimes regular poison is better. Well, that's going to do it for the first game. The winner, or the loser, is now going up against a Toast Boy Lanny. I like the how winner. Jason linked me to quote-unquote the first game by just linking me Frito's username. And at the time, Frito's only battle he was in was in a random battle against Belgian Toast. Yeah, I saw, I saw. I was very <laughs> confused. Okay, so what's the next game? Let me take a look at the bracket.